country just makes me sick. And I'm here because I think it's time for change. Um, I didn't necessarily know everyone that was lost, but I know a lot of friends that knew them. And personally, seeing it on social media every day is like really sad, and I think it's time to take action and change something in America. We are the change. Look at us. Look at your children. Your children are the ones fighting for their rights because they're fighting for their life to survive. I'm here because I'm tired of this government not taking care of their citizens. I'm here because I've had enough of people dying over guns. Vote them out! Vote them out! Vote them out! We as people have to stand up and take a stand and let the elected officials know that they are elected by us and there needs to be a change and that's why I'm here with the hundreds of thousands of other people. This cause is something that you know we're working together to uh, come to that common idea and goal that we want these people to make a difference up there. Uh, you know, whatever that might be, you know, we have to see that change. Change, no matter how small, is change. We came here today because we're hoping that people will pay attention. We're hoping that to set an example for our children, my children. We're just hoping to, you know, rock America into opening their eyes about gun violence and the damage that it's doing all over this country. Hopefully everything today, the efforts can snowball. I'm going to continue the conversation by just continually talking about it getting people active in the movement, getting people to sign petitions, getting people out to the polls to vote, and to vote for the right candidate. Get to the polls and vote for better candidates. Something that we're planning to do is is making sure we're bringing um, all of our students together and making sure we're talking about it, keeping the conversation alive, and making sure we're keeping up with our lawmakers, and making sure that um, students understand the process and how far we're going with it. I hope to continue the conversation. I think social media plays a big part in this, so I think just making sure that everyone knows that something still needs to happen even though this march is over with. I'd like to start things at my school, my university, and hopefully just keep uh, people talking about this and not let it go. No one could comprehend the devastating aftermath or how far this would reach or where this would go. Uh, what I hope to do is just have our voices heard overall. You know, we have that First Amendment right and that that's something really important for the people. Uh, I think that's something that you know is greater than than any of us, you know, together that make sure that those people up there making our rules, making our laws, that they know that we're out here um, and we care about this issue. There's a lot of people out here right now and I just hope that we do make a difference and the big people over there actually see this and decide to make a change. We're sending a message. There are going to be 500,000 people or more here today in marches all over the country. We're sending a message and enough is enough. Eagles!